Hello and welcome to this week's episode of CloudBytes TV, where it's all about helping you be the best Salesforce admin, developer, or architect that you can be. So I came across a question the other day on a forum, which was asking about how you can take a Salesforce report and export the details as JSON. Um, and it got me thinking around the ways in which you can do that. And obviously the easiest way I can think of is to use the analytics API. Now we can access the analytics API in Apex. We've seen ourselves do that before um, in some of the previous videos. In fact, we recently did a Lightning Web Component series in which we rebuilt our report viewer. Um, I'll put a little card or link to pop up now and show you that. If you haven't seen that, feel free to go away and watch that. Um, but what I wanted to do was just build out a little Lightning Web Component that allows us, as you can see on screen here, to select a report. And then what it does is it runs the report and if we just expand this out, we can see it gets all of the report information as JSON for us, and then we can simply select it and copy it and move it into whatever format we want. So, how have we built this little component? So we jump into Visual Studio Code. Uh, first thing we can see here is in our Lightning Web Component, the JavaScript file. And we're gonna import uh, element, track, and wire from LWC, that's pretty standard. And we're importing these two methods. So we've got get report options, and that's from our Apex report, uh, from our Apex controller, which is export report to JSON controller. And we've got get report as JSON. Now we'll dive into the controller in a second and see what they do, but we've just got two Apex methods we're gonna be calling. So we're probably gonna wire to them. We've then got a series of items we're tracking. So we've got report, we have a, a report, which is obviously the list of reports. We have our report data, which is the JSON data, and then we have an error we can use if we need to display that. We're then just wiring to our two methods, so get report options, that just retrieves all the report options for us. If we have the data, we list it out as the reports, and then get report as JSON, we pass in a report ID that's using the report variable we tag to there. Notice the dollar sign there, so it can be um, dynamic and allow us to uh, just bind to that as it changes. And then we just make that call out again. And then finally, we have a select report event. And all that's going to do is set the report to be the value of the target for the event. So jump over to the HTML. Again, really simple HTML. This is one of the things I love about Lightning Web Components, just how quick and easy it is to knot these things together. This took, you know, all of 15, 20 minutes to do. So it probably took longer in testing than anything else. Um, so we have a Lightning card that just allows it to display quite nicely. Um, an if true template that just displays if we have some reports. We can select our report using this select option and when it changes, we fire our select report function that we saw a second ago, captures the event, puts the report ID correctly. And then we're gonna loop through the reports that have been returned in our data, so from get report options. And we're gonna have a new option in the select list for each one where the key is gonna be the report ID the value is going to be the report ID, and we're just going to display the report name. So we saw that a second ago as well. And then finally, if we have any data, we're just going to put that out in a text area for us as well. Nice and easy. So as you can see, this is a small bit of code working really, really efficiently with the data we get just to display it. And then finally, our controller. Well, as you can imagine, all that's going to do is return the ID and name from the reports, and it's going to run the report manager run report method with the ID that we're passing in and return a pretty serialized version of the results for us. So this is super quick and easy for us to work with, um, but it gives quite a nice result, I think. It's really useful to be able to just retrieve this as you need. It's a component you can drop in to, uh, to anywhere in your environment if you're an admin just to use. And what I've done is I've made all the code for this available on GitHub. I'll put a link in the description of this video so you can go there and find it yourself if you need it. So hope you found this video useful. If you have, please give it a like. Um, please remember to subscribe so you can get all of the new content as well as we go forward. If you have any comments or questions, again, please leave them below. And thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.